This is just a quick video to show you how to create zip files. So you can see on this computer I've got in my CP102 folder, I've got the lab1 folder, and inside that are a couple of files. If I only wanted to compress one of these files called sample.txt, I could simply make sure it's selected by clicking on it once. If I clicked on it a second time, be careful it would rename it, so I'm going to press escape to stop renaming it. I can right click on that file, and I can actually choose send to compressed folder. So compressed and zipped folders are how you make zip files on Windows without any extra software. So a zip file is a file that contains a copy of the previous file and it makes it a little bit smaller. So this file is actually a zip file um, and it's been given the name sample.zip so I'll just hit enter because that was, that was actually the name of the file that I had zipped. So I'm going to collect, and that file is already active, it's in blue, so I'm going to delete it by pressing the delete key and hitting yes. And if I wanted to, I can actually zip both files together in one big file, or one single file. So I can just select those files by dragging over it with the mouse, or I can hit control A for selecting all the files. And I can hit, I can right click on that blue area and choose send to, and choose compressed folder and I get a manual dot, uh, lab manual dot zip. Now if I ever had to make changes to this lab manual file, what I could do is I could actually make changes to this document. In this case I'm using a new installation of Windows so there's no Microsoft Word on it, but there's a little program called Notepad so I can say hello there, zipping is great and I can correct the letter E and I save it and I close it And now this file called labmanual.rtf is actually more current and bigger than the file that was uh, that was previously zipped. Now watch what happens here. If I double click on the zip file, it's actually going to show me that inside the lab1 folder, I am now inside the compressed folder, or also called a zip file. And here's a copy of the uh, lab manual file, the original lab manual file. I can click back so that I'm no longer inside the zip file and what I can do is I can take this newer zip, this newer uh, document and I just drop it into the lab folder, the, the lab manual zip file. It's going to be, it's going to say it's going to copy it there. So I just click it and it says there is already a file inside that zip file uh, with the original, with the same name. So I'm going to copy and replace and now I've just updated the zip file with the newest version of that file. Now if I ever needed to, what probably would happen is I could copy this file and I can extract the file to a new location. So I'm just going to go to my CP102 folder and I create a new folder here called lab manual. And I double clicked, I hit pressed enter twice. So now I'm inside the lab manual and I can right click and choose paste. So I'm pasting the lab manual file here. But now I want those two files that are inside the zip file to come back out. So I have to extract the zip file. And that's actually a feature known as uh, extract all. So I right click on the file and hit extract all. So I right click on the file and hit extract all. And it will bring me this extract compressed or zipped folders dialog box and I can select a destination and that destination is actually, see it's going to, this is a tricky one. This is what you should really pay attention to. It's going to create a folder called lab manual inside the folder called lab manual. So I actually don't want it to do that. I'm actually going to extract that little bit off by pressing the backspace key and I can of course browse to its own new location or I can just click, now I can just click extract. There. It actually shows me a new file location. Uh, it opens the new window because that was an option on the dialog box actually. And uh, you can see that the two files have now been extracted out of the zip file in a new location. So that is how to compress files and how to extract them. Now in case that set of instructions wasn't very clear, I've got one other demonstration here. So I'm back in my lab manual folder and I have a folder, a zip file called labmanual.zip and inside it are two files because a zip file allows us to compress multiple files together so that they take up less space so that actually the file size will be smaller and you can combine multiple files together in an easy to use package. This is really good for when you're emailing it to other people and uh, when you have to distribute things. So what I could actually do is if I just double click on the file, 
whoops, I'm renaming it. I need to double click on it. There, my mouse wasn't selected properly. And now it's showing me the contents of the zip file. And this is uh, how we use the compressed folder utility within Windows. You can see that at the top of the screen, there's a button that says extract all files. I can actually take these files and I can drag them onto the desktop if I wanted to. That would place a copy of the file there. But uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use extract all files. And now it shows me this window for extracting files and I can choose a destination. But sometimes I want to delete that last little bit because I don't want to have two folders with the same name. Because I find that kind of ridiculous sometimes. But then there is this one other option here that I forgot to mention called show extracted files when complete. So if it is checkmarked, then as soon as I click extract, then it does its work. And then when it's done, it will display the new window. And uh, it's actually just the same window in this particular case. But now you can see that in the lab manual file, uh, sorry, in my lab manual folder, there is the zip file and copies of the two files. So of course, these are copies of the original. The originals were back here in my lab one folder, and they're still there too. So now I've got multiple copies of the files all over the place. So you just have to be careful about not getting too confused about which are the originals. In, and this was more of like a, a contrived example. You usually don't have this kind of situation going on. But you will be able to, uh, you may need to learn how to extract files from zip files. And that's what we've just done.